same thing as every other wrestling position. I'm one step ahead every time. Now, we're gonna go low single, that was to the near side. Now we're gonna go low single to the far side. Now, again, his head, super, super, super powerful when he's trying to finish his shot. So you think about every leg attack we get in on, whether it's a high crotch, okay? Outside foot, which is my drive leg and my head are two major factors that help me finish a shot, right? If I'm in on this high crotch, outside foot, my drive leg and my head, right? Double leg, drive leg and my head. Single leg, drive leg and my head, right? Low single's no different. When I get in on this low single, my head's working, my drive leg's working. It's just a little lower on the leg, but I'm transferring weight from the leg that I'm attacking across their body, all right? In just about every leg attack position. Once, I, once he gets to my leg, I've got to fight two things, head and drive leg. Every position, head and drive leg. So he low singles, okay? Now, we're going to jam the shoulder, but we're going to go to the far side. See how my knee attacks the back of his head. Now, two things will happen. His drive leg will stay up or it'll go down, okay? In this, posi in this position, we're not going to stress about it too much. All I'm focused on is ripping my foot back, all right? So, we're going to add one little wrinkle. He low singles. I'm going to jam, and when I jam, my lead leg hand attacks the hip. Lead leg hand attacks the hip. I take a 45 degree angle step. Okay, it's not a side step. It's an angle step across the body. I pull the hip. I drive my knee to the mat. Right here, I got him crunched up. Then I'm going to curl my leg. Curl my heel to my butt. Leg curl. Right here. And then I'm just going to spin and huff. Okay, I'm covering his head, angle step, hip pull, two most important things. That's going to crunch his power up back towards his right hip. I got to crunch that power up and bring my heel to my butt. See, I brought his elbow behind his ear. Everybody put your elbows behind your ears as far as you can. That feels about as good as putting my hands outside my wrists, right? I got to know what makes this guy weak and putting his elbows behind his ears Makes him weak, just like if he's in on a high crotch and he's flat on his belly and we're circling. What do we usually attack right here? Elbow. elbow. Where am I putting his elbow? Behind his ear. Again, everybody thinks scramble is this crazy abstract thing that only a couple people can do. There's a lot more similarities scrambling than people think. Okay? So again, angle step, hip pull. This is important. Again, that's his armpit. That's his ribs, there's his hip. Make sure we're pulling his hip. I wanna crunch his hips. Then see how my toes in the mat, hands in the mat, big curl. Pull, hustle. I'm still pulling the hip the whole time, okay? Still pulling the hip the whole time. I'm trying to pull into his back. So he's gonna do this little thing, oh, right there. I'm trying to do that every time, okay? And the more you get your timing down, the better you're gonna be with it, all right? But the minute he gets to your leg, so go as slow as you need to, Remember, leg curl. When I curl, back arch, heel to my butt. That's very important. What I don't want you to do is try to swing it. Don't do all this perfect work and then try to swing your foot on the mat. He'll keep your foot. There's no way that I, he, I, I'm going to get my foot here. Big difference. This is important. Bringing my heel to my butt, leg curl, pull the hip. Yep. Let's get it.